Hello there guys, we are starting from exactly where we just left off. Uh, so, I didn't make coffee, I'll just jump straight back on. Uh, what were we doing? <laughs> it's only been about 10 seconds. We were going to go and attack this. So, let's have a little look then. Where's the enemies gone? They were there a bit ago. I'll go up here, get a better view. There's a baddie. Ooh, there's a baddie, look, jumping up in the sky. Let's burn his ass. The law have mercy on you. I won't. I like the little drawing on it. Did you see it? That is quite cool. To shreds, you say? Oh, I think I think I might have hit hit a couple of my companions there with my bullets. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's no point in me looting stuff if it ain't got any loot. they going after? <laughs> Didn't know that dude was there right behind me. Thank you for saving my ass, guys. I had no idea that he was there. I'm going to go and just kill the ones that I've blinded. Nice hit. Oh, who are you shooting at? You've got a gun that shoots bullets quite some distance, and you're standing in front of someone with a fucking flamethrower. Our survival. <laughs> allowing them to burn you. What a stupid idiot. Alright, let's just have a little look in this box. Hey, who's that? Who's that running up there? Who the fuck are you? What do you want? What are you doing, Hudson? Cashing in on my uh my killing of things, all that was quite easy to pick up. Ah, so, you, you've sprung to life now. Now that I've cleared the base for you. Cheeky little bastard. Is this a door? Do I want to transition to Devil's Peak Station? I'm not sure if I do or not. Let's have a little look up here before we go in there. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he's quick season. He didn't look very sealed to me. A music box. Oh, that, that's the sealed door then. That's what she was talking about. She guessed that it was sealed. Right, so what are we supposed to be doing then? Auntie Cleo's Diet Toothpaste. Limit the nature. Diet Toothpaste from Auntie Cleo. Right, if you give companions a focus fire target, they will keep attacking that target until it's down. Mr. Tutorial or Want to Refresh Our Tutorials can be read or reread in the journal. Come on, I've read that one now. Right, here we go. Tactical time dilation drains extremely slowly when you're not shooting. Take it. Right, that's enough of that. You may not realize this, being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. I missed. He moved out of the way. I like how the Marauders have like these pet dogs, don't they? It's like these are like wild animals, but obviously they're tamed to the Marauders. They don't attack them, they just come around and attack me. Right, let's see how easy it is to pick shit up. It's, it's not that much easier. It's not that good. Oops. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here's the elevator. Ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Uh, which way's forward? Which way do you think is forward? 
Because if I'd have moved forward from when she said it, I just would have kept walking to the locked down elevator door, which would have done me absolutely no good at all. Yeah, I think I can be like a little bit further away from stuff to pick it up. Seems to go um, a little bit quicker, maybe. Is this forward? Would you consider this to be forward? Oh, hello. Not much shit in there. Oh, hang on, there's more shit over here. Right, Bob. Uh, the new environmental controls terminal is now installed and running upstairs. Congratulations! You messaged corporate about it, you get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access key card deep in the bathroom of a drawer somewhere, preferably with the archives or, well, preferably within the archives or in one of the stations of a popular uh, sections because I'm sure as hell will not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety procedure. Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed and if you accidentally, that's quite dangerous in an emergency situation, you've got sirens going off and people have got to get out and everyone's ears are bleeding, I think that might cause panic. And if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review. Well, I think you need to take a little look at your uh, safety procedures because they sound rather dangerous, to say the least. Look, there's loads of little uh, red things on the, um, the compass at the top. Can I read this magazine? No, I can't. Looked like, looked like something uh, exciting, didn't it? Hello, mate. Are you going to pay no attention at all? Catch. We've got a fight on our hands. Get him carrying away. Pew, pew. Nice done, Oops, press the wrong button. Meant to reload. Ready for going around the corner, killing the rest of them. So, none of the things that are just through here heard any of that gunfire and came to this dude's rescue. Oh, that's because it's a wall and not a door. I'm not surprised I didn't hear anything. This is just some uh, some toilets and showers. Right then. Aha, here's the door. Cooey! <laughs> you out there. Yep. Whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. Hang on a minute, let me just uh, pick up your stuff first. Where is the intercom? Oh, oh, there it is. Right, let's have a chat then. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. Right. Uh, I need to see the information broker about... No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. Ugh. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass alternative. <laughs> She's growing on me. Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Right, uh, okay, Broker. See me, okay. <laughs> I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Right, okay, not a problem. I'll see what I can do. Uh, right, that direction. 
Did I just see? Yes, I did. I thought I did. I like that. That's mine. Thank you. Um. Oh, did he just say he's opened the elevator doors? He did, didn't he? So I can go back the way. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's some stuff on this table. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm ready. By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating? Nothing. I wanted to reload my gun and you got in the way. So, oh, bollocks. Nothing too well. <laughs> Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Okay. Thanks for the information, but that's... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, I can't end the conversation. That's somewhat concerning. Oh, I eventually learned how to channel it into my quest for knowledge. But my childhood? That is a different... I'm not interested, Max. I grew up in a pit of a town, much like... I don't care. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with... You're not me. very good at reading people, are you? Right, that's enough. Come on, guys, it's this way. Where are they? There they are. Pew! Right, in. right go, go down. From times violence is the only way. Cheers, Maximus. You're facing the wrong way. They're inside. Oh, she's fucked it now. Right, go and kill them while I wait out here. You are stupid. Ah, bollocks. Incoming! Funny, hard to believe that those. That all that shit that she just did didn't kill him. Well done. We're still alive. Yes, we are. It's because we're fucking nails. And all these marauders are a bunch of pussies. Ooh, there's a box. Let's go pick up some more things. Oh, bollocks. I like how they actually are weapon parts that are in the box. Look, that's quite good, isn't it? There's a lot of loot lying around in this game. Oh, I was going to get that bottle, but it's through this glass. Will it allow me to pick it up through here? No. I can't bother to go round and get it. All right, we'll go on, on here and we'll see what this does. Right. Messages. Uh, subject emergency protocol, subject toilets, subject reference toilets. Emergency protocols. As I stated in my prior four messages, there is simply no cause for alarm. I swear to you, Hiram, the situation is under control. Uh, what you call a near emergency, I would consider a non-event. Yes, a high energy transmission was used for too lengthy a period of time. And yes, the generators cannot safely support that activity. Yes and yes, they could have been damaged under load. But the point remains, nothing fucking happened. We, ca uh, we caught the situation in time. The engineers involved were reprimanded. I swear on my mama's grave, I will, the, it will not happen again. Now, please stop contacting me for daily updates on the situation about the generators. Thank you, Valerie Singleton. <laughs> uh, messages, toilets. Right, ref, toilets for doing poos and wheeze and nothing else. Do not flush your tampons down the toilet. It ruins the space station. Reference toilets. Okay, I will stop putting my tampons down the toilet. I apologise, I am a fool. Right, job done. Anything in here? Hello, mate. Have you got anything for me? Yes, you have. Which way we got to go? Through there? Through that door? I've got a feeling there's some baddies in there. Yoo-hoo! Open this big box. I'll have that, if I can get it. And I want that money as well. Well, hang on a minute, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I am, it's not that way, it's through here. Here's another thing that doesn't work. Right, so. Oh, 
oh, for fuck's sake, which fucking way is it? Oh, some people that I have looted. Yes. Am I going round in circles? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm in here, aren't I? Where I was looking uh, through the window. I'll do some looting, then I'll look at the map to see which way I've got to go. Aha, we have a terminal. Look at that. Oh look, I can see what's inside now. So a plasma cutter, some arm parts and a bit cartridge. Do I want to hack it? I think I do. Right, so in here there is a, a key card thing. Right, atmospheric controls. Environmental sensor status. All sensors currently indicate a standard level range regarding temperature and chemical composition through the station. Deploy fire suppression system in main hall. Too fucking right. Yes, I'm sure. Right, activate the fire suppression system. Engaging chamber locks for, the, uh, for safety. No, don't do that. Don't lock things. Siphoning all oxygen from the chamber. There we go. That's in there, isn't it? So this is probably killing all the dudes that are in there. If there are any dudes in there, and we haven't killed them already, and we should have done this first. Right. That's the last of them, I think. We did, we did it. Radio Free Monarch, and now the door is opened. Boy, what else can we do with this? Auto mechanical controls. Right. Request for auto mechanical security and assistant installation. Time submitted 5.256E plus six minutes ago. Status awaiting an official response from Byzantium headquarters. Let's go. That was cool, weren't it? So, we did something properly for a change. Normally, I would have come in here, killed all these things, and then gone out there and done that thing, wouldn't I? That's the way I normally play the game. And then probably killed something I was supposed to leave alive, like that Mantis Queen thing, whatever it was. Although, I've seen more of them. They can catch another one. Oh, hang on. No, I've been in here because there's that bottle through the window. Or maybe it just looks familiar. Where am I supposed to be? Right, I'm supposed to be halfway up that wall. How the fuck am I going to get up there? Let's have a look at the map. Uh, right. They go downstairs. There's a lift there, look. That's probably where I'm supposed to be. Unless that's where I came in. I am completely lost as to where I am. I'll go to that lift which could very well be the way that I walked in to begin with. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, well, I would go to it, but I'm not sure how to get to it. Oh, no, these stairs do go up. That's good, then. That's very good. So I am going the right way. I thought these stairs went down. I thought these were ones I'd used previously. So, yeah, this is very good. We are going in the right direction. We appear to have killed everybody. That's, uh... <laughs> Aren't we clever? <laughs> Flushing out all the oxygen before we went upstairs. Who would have thought that? All right, I'm a-coming for you, Mr. Broker. I'm here. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Do hurry on. I'm coming. Hello. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. My compliments on your improvised utilization of the fire suppressant system. I would expect nothing less from one of Neoka's associates. As usual, I'll take that as a compliment. Of course. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service. That's not bad. But I admit... I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Right, uh, let's have a little look. Right, I told you already, I am looking for certain information, broker. Ah yes, our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me. Clear. Well, I didn't know. Phineas must have sent He did. You. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. 
I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. You said that in a way that was almost believable. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Right, why? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Right, that doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, because you, my fine fellow, are an NPC, and that means that you've got some sort of problem that only I can solve. Right, so why is this a problem exactly? The bandwidth. There's too much blasted background noise. Nothing gets through but their local broadcasts. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Okie dokie. Oh, excuse me. Right, tell me more about the MSI and the Iconoclasts. Graham and his Iconoclasts believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it, as he's taking strides to corporatize Stellar Bay. Okay. Right, can't we just cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Can I convince them with bullets? Do what you like. Just don't tell me about it, Adam. Okay. I enjoy sleeping at night. Right. Uh, you're an info broker? What's that? I don't care. I'm, I'm done. You're a person that sells information. An info broker. Right, the clue is in the name. Right, I'll see you later, dude. Bye-bye. Sure. You know where to find me if you need me. Yeah, in this really awkward place that's miles away from fucking anywhere. Can I have this stuff? Yeah, I can. Thanks, mate. That was very, very kind of you. Can I have your other stuff? Yeah. Oh, how very generous. Can I have this big fuck-off gun? Oh, it's a flamethrower. I'm going to take all your shit because I've killed all the baddies. So you don't need any shit now. You did say that you was out of some sort of wine. Well... I found some underneath there, and I'm having it. What else was you talking about that you were short of? What the fuck's that doing up there, look? Right, I will leave you to your empty, uh, empty little shack to play with your robots that appear to be doing a little dance. Hello, Mr. Robot. Right, what is next? Uh, let's have a little look at our quest journal. Radio 3 Monarch, the information broker promised to find the location of the chemicals needed by Phineas. Problem is, he hasn't delivered the intel on time and hasn't provided an explanation. Travel to Monarch, find him and obtain the data. Oh, hang on, that's the overall thing, isn't it? Right, we, we've done most of that already. How the broker deal with the, uh, the, the stuff. Solution vital, find Captain Thing. Space crime continuum, retrieve the missing passcode. What's this? Oh, that was that annoying bitch, wasn't it? Right, visit Hayes' grave. I'm not doing that. The Empty Man. Track down Reginald Dick Cheney. Right, so, help the broker deal with MSI and the Iconoclasts. I like the Iconoclast name. We will do that. So, let's get out of here. I wonder if I can get out of here in... Uh, I wonder if I can teleport. Right, so... Where do we need to... We, where are we? I wish what it did... Oh, I can't fast travel from here anyway. Get off. I want to go... I wish when you hovered over the objective, it told you which objective that is. That would be extremely useful. Right, okay then. Right, we've got to get downstairs and... Uh, where the fuck is the, um, the exit? How did we get in? How did we get in? How did we get out? Hey, oh, hey, oh. There's a safe. Right. I'm glad we didn't uh, didn't leave this. Cheers. Look at all this loot that we almost left behind by not coming in this back room. Oh, all this stuff looks good, and I've, oh, I can have them. And a terminal as well. Right. 
Authorised broadcaster, select recorded transmissions for a listing of all scheduled incoming and outgoing broadcasts to go live. Please ask your producer to initiate broadcasting. Do not begin broadcasting without the supervision of a senior producer. Thank you, Val. And now, a message from your sponsor. Tired of itchy acid burns? Try Auntie Cleo's artisanal, bo- uh, artisanal something. Borst scented moisturising cream. I'm not going to read these, I can't be bothered. Sorry if you wanted to know what they said. But I'm reading out too much stuff as it is, really, aren't I? So, I will, uh, I won't read it all. There's a lot of loot up here, this dude. This dude in his little hideaway, he's got a lot of stuff. Is that his bed? No, nope, it's just the floor. Ah, the door, right. Glad I came into this back room because I was going to fucking work my way all the way back down where I'd come from and all I had to do is go through this door. So that worked out quite well, didn't it? Right, I'm sure the rest of you that have got past this stage in the game just immediately went into that back room, picked up the stuff and then went out the door. Right. Raptors on biological overview. Charge up weapons like the plasma rifle will consume more ammo for a longer charge. Why do you charge up your weapon? Do you hold down the button or something? Charging a melee power... I didn't know you could charge attacks. I assume, normally on games, to charge an attack you sort of hold the uh, the button down for a bit. Right, so... I, I imagine we can just teleport now, can't we? Let's just uh, make sure there's no loot on here that I've um, neglected to collect. Like that. Is that a box as well? It bloody looks like one. Right, the door was sealed, wasn't it? Because something was on lockdown. So maybe now... Hello. Maybe now the door's not sealed. Maybe it's not even a door. It looks like a fucking door. It makes a noise when you approach it. I can pick that up. Why isn't it letting me pick that up? I've picked one of them up before. Right then, let's teleport to a destination that would be useful for us to be. Look how much shit I've got. I'm gonna have to get to a vendor and sell all my shit. Right, so there's uh, bo- there's those two. I don't know which one does which, but I'm gonna go to this one because it seems like um, it seems like this is kind of on the way to the other one, even though we're fast traveling. So it wouldn't make much difference, would it? Let's have a quick look at the time. It is nearly quarter past twelve. Come on, loading screen. I was talking about this a little bit in my uh, video that I uploaded earlier on. Uh, I'm quite interested in the possibility, that's open already, in the possibility of um, using an external solid state drive. Is that possible? Is anyone else doing that? If you are doing it, does it make a significant difference to your loading times? I assume it has to. Right, borst worst. That's what this is. It's this disgusting, melting piggy pig pig. When your holographic shroud something, melee power attacks do significant more damage. Oh, so when my holographic shroud does something, it increases my melee damage. That's interesting. <laughs> There's too many loading screens on this game. Roll on the next series of consoles without loading times. Oh, that's going to be so much better, isn't it? Oh, hello. Hello. Have you come to greet me? Sorry that I'm pointing my gun in your face. Well, hello. Hello. Welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Hello, Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. No, I'm not interested in a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. That's a stroke of look for me. Right, surely his name is Graham and not Graham, like what you said. I'm sure he doesn't appreciate being called Graham. Right, uh, you're offering me a pamphlet that you haven't got, you unprofessional bitch. Uh, I don't want a pamphlet anyway. Just tell me who you are. I'm not interested in who you are and I don't want a pamphlet either. That paper they use makes excellent kindling, you know. If they ever get more, you ought to grab some. What? Nioka? That's why you wanted so many? 
You said you were just spreading the word. While you keep rude company, you're welcome all the same. We're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. She said something that really made me laugh. Uh, when I used to DJ years and years ago, I was DJing in this club and they'd given us all these leaflets that we had to, well, we didn't have to give them out. They were just like in stacks on the bar, but they told us that we had to tell people about them. So they said, you've got to tell people about these, uh, these leaflets um, while you're DJing tonight. So every now and again, we had to sort of promote the leaflets and the leaflet was like some sort of anti-drug thing. Uh, so we said, yeah, no problem. We'll promote the leaflets. So then as the night progressed, uh, several times during the evening, we told people that there are a bunch of leaflets that they could pick up off the bars that made excellent roach material. So I really thought that's what she was just going to say. Right, only some of my viewers are going to know what roach material is, but uh, it did tickle me a little bit. So we said that several times during the evening. Um, if anybody's interested in a bit of a toke out the back today, then there are some leaflets on the bar that make excellent roach material. Make sure you grab one on your way past. <laughs> right, anyway, let's have a little look at this. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about the Raptodons or the Marauders? They're not really a problem, are they? Um, no corporation means no paycheck. Right. Uh... I'm going to say that. No corporation means no paycheck. How do you survive without any money? We make our own living here. Some of us hunt. Some of us scavenge the ruins left by the corporations when they abandoned us. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Well, that's not going to last, is it? You're scavenging stuff that's all going to run out, and then you're hunting. Right, I'm, I'm guessing that you're not going to make much of a living, and you are doomed. Right, I'm just looking for work. Do you have a boss or a leader or something? Oh, sure. Graham's our Who? founder, he taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness, and I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. Wait, can... <laughs> you can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be okay. more like them. We ought to learn to say their name. Right, I'm pretty sure it's Graham, not Graham, and I'm pretty sure it's Zora, like two syllables, not just whatever you just said. You've really got to focus a lot more carefully on saying people's names if you are aspiring to be more like them. So where are they? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage okay. place next door. Right, that's enough. I'll see you later. Cheers, Rose. Hang on a minute. You're not that person that Thingy Bob was looking for, are you? No, that was Zoe. Right, so... Someone's up there, 55 metres away, and someone is outside. We'll be going for the one that is 55 metres away first. And whatever, this is closed. I was going to have a little look in there, but unfortunately I'm not permitted because it's closed. Damned philosophists. The folks in Amber What's that? Always managed to find a bite or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Let's, um, let's hide. Shh. Anybody see? Nope. Good job. Hang on a minute. Why are there three of you? Who are you? Ooh. I can pickpocket this person's full cranial helmet. Let's see if they notice. Oh no, they didn't. Wow. It's a good job they were wearing two helmets and they've still got one on, isn't it? This person's fucking blind. A lot blinder appear than they are on the bloody groundbreaker, aren't they? You touch anything on the groundbreaker and they come running over going, Oi, what do you think you're doing? And then you lose your um, allegiance thing. I wonder if I can uh, pickpocket him again. I wonder if the game is that broken. Yeah, I can. Ah, oh, but he hasn't got anything this time. Nor did he notice. Right then. Um, we've got to somehow get... Where is it? Up there. Right, it'll be up, up this slope then. Apparently I've discovered a vending machine. Hello, dudes. It ain't right. How many... I'm looking for somebody who I believe will be up these stairs. A man? Yeah, a manta queen. Yeah, he felled it. All right, hello, Graham. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. I'm sure you'll get along really well with Max. Right, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> this is Amber Heights. I expected more altars or incense or both. Shed the trappings of a materialistic life, Captain. You'll find your soul much less burdened. Also, we're broke. <laughs> yes. If we were meant to enjoy the things that glitter and shine, the universe would provide them. Right, I've got to tell you, I quite often do like spiritual talks at venues and things like that, where I talk about the law of attraction, manifesting your own reality and everything. And quite often when I'm doing a talk, I'm at a place where there's a lot of very spiritual people and they always go, oh, but we don't believe in material things. You shouldn't be attracting wealth into your life and all this bollocks. I am very fond of money. I really am. Right. And they're, they're always very anti-materialistic. Right. Which I find fucking idiotic. So I'm not, I'm not a problem with you being anti-materialistic. In fact, I'd like to help you. Do you want to give me your phones and your car keys and your money? And all of a sudden they become very materialistic. Right, it's such a load of bollocks. It really is. Right, if you are one of these people, I'm sorry, but I am about to offend you. What I think that it is, is people who are kind of like on a bit of a spiritual path that think that anything materialistic, like money, for instance, is evil. I just think they're shit at getting it, right? They've failed in their life. They don't have the ability to uh, achieve the success that they wanted in their life. So they now say, oh, I don't like money. I think money's bad. So like, well, give me your fucking money then. Oh, you've changed your mind all of a sudden. Right, and this is something that I say quite often to these people when I'm doing a talk. I'll talk about the concept of attracting wealth into your life and how you do that. And then uh, you see a lot of people go, ooh, wealth is evil. And I say, right, are you a good or a bad person? They're like, oh, I'm a good person. I was like, how much money would I need to give you for you to stop being a good person and to start being a bad person? And I'm not trying to bribe you or anything. It's just like, if I give you... £10,000, are you going to start being bad? And they're like, no. It's like, if I give you a million pounds, are you going to start being bad? I'm like, no. It's like, how much good do you do in the world right now? And they go a bit, because mm, they're embarrassed that they're doing fuck all for society. And I'm like, right, if I did give you a million pounds, could you do more good? Of course you fucking could. You could go out into the world and give money to charitable organisations and shit like that. I know a lot of rich people who do a hell of a lot of good out in the world. And uh, anyway, there we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get down off my soapbox now. But every time I meet a spiritual person who goes, oh, I don't like material things. I don't like money. Money's evil. It's like, give me your money then because I fucking love it. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not in any way uh, ashamed to say so. I'm a very spiritual person, probably much more so than the people that are telling me that they don't like money. But I also like money. I'm happy to earn it. I like spending it. I like buying things. And when I buy things, I'm supporting society. I'm helping people that have to have jobs so that they can get money to support their kids by buying into whatever their job is. My goodness me. I tell you, it does make me angry. Well, it's not so much that it makes me angry. I just think it's fucking idiotic. So if you are one of the people that has ever said in your life, I'm a spiritual person. I don't want money then you are fucking lying. And if you're not lying and you genuinely believe that, then please do send all of your worldly possessions to me and I will distribute them as I see fit amongst people that are not ashamed to admit that money and phones and Xboxes and cars and holidays are actually pretty fucking awesome. And we are very happy to have them. Uh, but if you want to just sit in a field eating mushrooms... Uh, whilst telling everybody that you don't need material possessions, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Give me your phone. Give me your whatever it is you're watching this video on. <laughs> oh, man. It's, I've got so many hecklers when I do an event where it's really, really spiritual people telling me that money is evil. But none of them, none of them ever give me their money. Fucking hypocrites. Jesus. Right, anyway, what's this dude say? Yes, if we were meant to enjoy the things that glitter and shine, the universe would have provided them. It has provided them. Stars, they glitter and shine. Look up in the sky at night and you'll see fucking millions of them. Right, nature is, by its very nature, abundant. Right, an apple tree grows fucking millions of apples. Right, they all drop on the floor. Some of them turn into compost that nourishes the apple tree. Birds eat some of them and they fuck off and grow more apple trees somewhere else. I munch my way through loads. We give loads of them to, you know, like horses and shit. We make cider out of them and there's still loads that go to waste. 
nature is abundant. You drop a fucking sunflower seed on the floor and a few months later you're going to have thousands of sunflower seeds. All of nature is ridiculously overabundant. And uh, we have people that worry that they've got too much money. It's absolute bollocks, it really is. Whoever made people think that, they must be laughing in their pants. Right, that's a refreshing perspective. Most of Halcyon obsesses over what they can buy. Well, that's not me, is it? Uh, it has provided them on store shelves. Yes, it has. Right, think for a minute. Absolutely everything that we have, our phones, our Xboxes, everything, everything has come from nature. All of it has. It's like when I play games like Conan Exiles, one of the things that I often think to myself is when we were like caveman and we were like, uh, you know, like trying to invent fire in the wheel and all that shit, everything that we need to make an iPhone or an Xbox or whatever it is that you want, uh, all of that shit was there for us. It was just lying around on the ground. But we didn't know what to do with it. And as we, as we expand in our knowledge, we can look at stuff like sand, well, some clever fuckers can, I can't, and we can think, right, we can turn this into a phone or a computer, right? That's, that's pretty damned impressive. But everything that we have, all of this abundance, all of this opulence, which I love and other people think is gross, all of that is provided by nature and intelligence. And the intelligence looks at nature and it says, what can we do with this? Right, first of all, we can fashion it into a wheel so that we can move faster. And then we can build a house out of it. And then we can turn it into silicon and make it into a computer chip. And we can make games that entertain people. It all comes from the universe, mate. They have provided. It's very glittery and very shiny. And if you don't want your share, hand it over. Right, there we go. No, no, no. No, there isn't. Come back for a meditation session later. The peace will... My mind is clear. And I shudder to think how wasteful we used to be before we were. <laughs> here, here. Uh... You're from Cascadia, right? I still find empty Rizzo bottles in the river. In fairness, I give my right tit for a pallet of ice-cold spectrum right now. Zora, do not encourage the very habits that the eternal truth has finally steered us away from. Now... Why have... right, we'll get back to that in a minute. I'll have a look at Zora's right tit to see whether it's the good one or the bad one. If it's a good tit, then that is kind of like generous of her. But if it's a bad tit and it's a bit saggy or a little bit smaller than the other one, or maybe her nipple points in a weird direction, no, I don't want it. Right, uh, why have I come? Uh, Hiram needs you to stop using Devil's Peak. I want to know more about don't. I think you t you're teaching absolute bollocks, mate. Uh, just checking out sites. Right, this one here. Hiram needs you to stop using Devil's Peak. Right, it's materialistic. Stop it. Stop it now. Give me all of your possessions and your clothes and just play in the dirt like a primitive. Yes! No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. Yeah, but you're not spreading the truth, are you? You're spreading your opinion. Right, you really think that the board's going to let its citizens listen to your bullshit? They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. No. You are quite assured in the idea that any who hear your message will not immediately change stations upon realizing what- Go on, Max! <laughs> right, you're only transmitting on a single radio frequency and very few people can even receive it, you complete fucking tool. Graham, we should be focusing on survival. And yes. Food, ammo, yes. And medicine. Maybe now's the time. I like Zora. Pivot. I don't like Graham. If radio isn't working, we might try another yeah. way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must yeah, be God fake. sent me. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not... Yeah, he's delusional, isn't he? Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need <sighs> for that rust bucket of a radio tower. How about I just shoot you in the face? Right. Attack. That's too much work. I'll just kill you now and be done with it. I'll be doing him a favour. Go to see his god and his god would say, what were you playing at? That was a waste of a life. Get back down there and try again, you fucking idiot. 
I put all that stuff down there for you to make use of. Didn't you notice it? I made it shiny so that you'd notice it. For fuck's sake. Right. Hold on. You're saying that you want me to uh, want to print... Right. Uh, do, 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 do. I wonder how much of a mission it will be to do this. Right. You want to print propaganda in their magazines? Citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. They obsess over toss ball and fashion and... The board uses these obsessions to control them. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. My literary prowess will hook them and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. You're delusional, mate. What, what do you think? Do you think that the people who produce these magazines that people are hooked on are just going to say to you, yeah, we'll put your drivel inside our magazine. Come on, not a problem. You're not going to be able to produce a magazine that all these people are going to be like, yeah, we want to read this one instead. Because your magazine ain't about toss ball or interesting shit that they like. It's about your boring things that they're not interested in. Right. Attack! 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 Right, I wonder if Zora will be on my side. Where's Zora? I want to know if she's on my side. Is that him? Yeah, it is. Pew! 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 Oh, uh, don't, don't kill the others! Oh, I'm dead! Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, continue. Right. I was hoping I could just kill him and then take Zora with me, because I like her. I wonder where it'll continue from. It better be just before I said attack. I can't... I... You kidding me?! Motherfucker. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, I'm just going to go in there guns blazing this time and kick his fucking ass. Let's make sure my gun is loaded. All right, dude, how are you doing? I've come in here to have a chat to the dead end. Nope, the stairs. It's this way. Oh, man just teleported from somewhere. Hey, up. Oh, why is it all the way down there? Wasn't it here? I thought it was here. Oh, you are kidding me. Who are these people? If I... What faction is this? If I annoy them, what? who am I uh, losing against? Ugh. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Right, come on then. I can't even remember um, where the dude was. This is it then, isn't it? It's in here. Okay, this is it. I went in the wrong building. I'm taking all your fucking stuff this time as well. Oh, it just saved. That's good. So if uh, if something goes wrong again... Right, uh, current patients. Ezekiel, Ronnie, Ivers and Milson. All a bit fucked. I wonder if they're trying to, um, to heal them. Pew! Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Ah! Everyone, all right? Cheers, mate. Oh, that was so funny. Right, if you didn't do that, then you missed out. That that's the best thing to do. Shoot them in the face. That's it. I've healed those people. They're not gonna have any problems anymore. Someone come in and try and bottle you. How dare they? How very dare they? Right, uh, you iconoclast people out here. Did you not notice all that gunfire just behind you? Right, where is it? Oh, there's a dead dude here, look. Oh, fuck it, I'm going to kill all these iconoclasts. I don't really like them. Here's a little freak I learned in prison. All right, I'm going to kill them all. And, uh... And just take all their shit. Stop them spreading their, um... Their bollocks. Oh, I'd better use my heal. Where's this coming from? Is that is that person still alive? No. Nope. Someone is shooting at me. I'm not sure where from. Ah, there. Just hide behind here. Go, go get him, Max. Yeah. Your god's stronger than their gods. Surely this must be a lesson to you. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yep. We're fine. We're educating these simpletons. 
Max, you can spread your religion if you want. I don't give a fuck. Come on, Max. Start preaching. Oh, actually, no, you can't spread your religion, can you? Because we're killing them all. I forgot about that. Oh, we've seen this already. I'll take your confession now. Pow! Oh, beautiful. Someone over here. Come on, get him. Got him. I'll blind this one as well. Ah, de ooh, ah, that's it. Oh, someone right next to me. Just use my heel just in case. Ah, why isn't Max doing his thing? Where is he? I'm going to hide behind this box. Kill them all for me, please. Are they dead? Oh shit. I think they might be dead. Okay, that's a problem. Ah! Hey, this is not fair. Run away! Go in here. Phew! Okay, I'm safe. Shut the door. There isn't a door. Fuck, there's not a door. <laughs> Baba! <laughs> ah, reload, reload! Shoot, 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 shoot! Heal! Shoot, shoot more! Use slow motion. That's not slow motion. Yeah. Hide. Heal. Come on, Max. My weapon's fucking useless. God, I've got to kill Rose as well. I didn't expect to have to kill her. Got to kill them all. They're all angry with me. Just because I didn't believe their religion. Right, good. Right, my companions are alive again. That's good news. This is good. Look, I'm getting loads of loot now that they're all dead. I wonder if they're an important faction in the game. <laughs> I hope not. Right. Where's Rose's corpse? Is that a there? No. Is that a? I think it is, isn't it? I didn't notice when I looted it. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's carry on to this dude. I can't remember how we got up there the other time. Did we go down the side? Did we go around this way? How the fuck did we get up there? Was it inside this actual building? Might have been. Hello! Friendly! I'm, f I'm friendly, don't worry about me. Yes, it's up here. Right, guys. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do this. don't normally do this, but I'm just going to slap down a new save. So that, uh, just in case. A manta. Yeah, we felled it, Mike. A manta bollocks. Hi, right, Graham. I've come to uh, attack you all. Oh, I liked her, but then again, she's not going to just suddenly switch over to my side, is she? Sometimes violence is the only way. You're not going to hit him from there. <laughs> I can't remember what my mission was. I can't remember why I needed this guy. I hope it wasn't for information. Oh yeah, I remember what it was. I wanted him to stop using that thing, didn't I? That's the last of all this shit on the floor. I didn't see this the first time. Well, oh, that sounded like an agonising death, didn't it? It just said something about the board there. Did it say the board are pleased with me for killing this idiot? Iconoclast reputation decrease. Well, is there any iconoclast left? I'm not cared about their reputation if there's none of them left. I pledge my allegiance to the board. No, I don't. Maybe Space's Choice. I like Space's Choice. Any uh, any good stuff beneath the bar? Oh, they've been playing Monopoly. <laughs> no. Right, that should sort it out then, shouldn't it, really? Have I got to go and turn off his transmitter or something? I bet I have, haven't I? I bet this is it in here. 
Let's get this loot first. Oh, fuck him. And that's it. Should have killed all them deserters as well. Purple punch. I'm running quite low on that bypass shunts. That's quite good that I'm picking them up. Right, let's do this. Welcome to Graham Bryant's personal conglomeration of notes, theories, and findings regarding philosophism and how it informs our lives. I have organised into three categories, the Iconoclast, the Halcyon Colony, and the Universe. Right, Jesus fucking Christ. The board's lies. The board vastly overestimates their authority and grasp on power. Without the Earth... Oh, I can't be asked to read all that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on them all in case you guys want to read them. Uh, so, let's... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Right, let's do this one first then. The board's lies. There you go. Back. Oppression must end. This can stand no longer. We must tear the entire regime down. Right, there you go. You're going to have to pause it if you want to read them. And there we go. We have built ourselves into a cold, unthinking, efficient machine, and in doing so have abandoned all the warmth humanity is capable of. I weep for us all. And this one here. Done. Right, back. Files on Iconoclasts. Personal thoughts regarding Zora. For someone who is so committed to the Iconoclast way, I fear that Zora is slipping off the true path. More and more often, I fear her attachment to the materialism of our oppressors sways her decisions, more than the search for the guiding truth that saves us. She often tells me that our people are hungry. I agree. Their spirits long for fulfilment, a much more powerful power than any pang of an empty gut. Yeah, but without food, we die. Right. Teaching notes. Of all of the things to motivate a person, I'm finding freedom has been the most powerful. Have you really? Right. I bet that freedom wasn't very powerful once they started getting hungry and you got no fucking food. Shifting priorities. As our numbers grow, they're not growing anymore, I find that more and more of our population turns to the written word of my pamphlets. I am happy to continue making them, but I must find a more efficient way to print and distribute this reading material. I wonder if that old printing press might be convinced to run once more. Right, next. Accessing files on the universe. Influence drift. When I realised the truth of philosophism, I immediately wondered how I can be the first to recognise the poisonous spiral that has shaped our society. Then one day I was talking to, of all people, Huxley. She was lamented that she'd, le that she'd like nothing more than a pet canid. I confessed, I confessed to know very little about the animal's behaviour and I'm much more concerned with the animal that is mankind. But I stressed, what, well, did you want to give her a mankind pet? Like a little slave. How nice of you. Uh, she let it go, but some weeks later, Zora reported that damn Zora, uh, that the strangest thing, stories of a marauder with a canid follower. Yeah, they all have canids, certainly I've noticed that. I don't know if it had been sighted here or on Terra 2, but I immediately thought of Huxley and her reckless wild imagination. I wondered if she had told other people in, and if word had spread of the possibility until it wiggled its way into the mind of marauders somewhere, like they can't think for themselves. You pretentious cunt. Right. It is very difficult to face the eternal truth that everything happens for a reason, that life and everything in it is the will of the cosmic consciousness, can be terrifying. Uh, oh, yeah, that thing can be a terrifying thought. There is an urge among us all to control the parameters of one's life. This urge is so powerful that it suppresses the eternal truth simply by existing. Mankind has not shed the weight of its own shackles, and so I find that spreading philosophism is unnecessarily difficult. But the universe cannot suppress it forever. Biology changes. Creatures adapt and evolve. We overcome our urges for the better of our species. Someday our minds will be born more open to this idea. Until then, I must not abandon hope. Return to Root. 
exit. Right, there we go. That was his bollocks. Uh, if you read it, then uh, bully for you. I couldn't be bothered to read it all, but I had a quick look through. I, I know. Get out of the way. Oh, it's not even a thing. I thought I would pick something up there. Right, so I've got to turn off his, uh, his doodar, haven't I? So it's going to be around somewhere. Let's just uh, pick up these couple of things that we missed on our previous pass through here. Where the fuck is it? Where's my green thing? Right, it's over there. Right, that's 56 metres away. I wonder if I've actually got to turn anything off or not. Radio Free Monarch. How the broker deal with MSI and the Iconoclast? The broker can deliver uh, the location of the chemicals until you stop the Iconoclast and MSI transmissions that are interfering with the tower. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, Sanjar Nandi leads MSI out of the Stella Bay and Graham Bryant leads the Iconoclast out of Amber Heights. Earning the favour, I don't think I've done that, might convince them to stop transmitting. You were able to put a stop to the Iconoclast transmission. Okay, well, I, just by killing him, their transmission has stopped then. So I have done that. I expected to have to turn off some kind of transmitter. But obviously that's not what I had to do. So I just had to shoot him in the face. Hmm. Almost missed all that. I wonder if there's any more of these uh, balmy people outside. To pick that stuff up. Let's get outside. Where the fuck is outside gone? There it is. Any more iconoclasts knocking around? I ought to mention the iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Bit late. You should have said that earlier. Huh? We've got a fight on our. Oh, my reputation has decreased with the Iconoclasts. I smite you in the name of the law. Not in the name of the law, in the name of your god. Tell them about your god, Max. Preach, preach, preach. We are just that good. Look at a weapon. Fuck me. A buzzsaw on a stick. Jesus Christ. This person should not have a head. Oh, hang on. They haven't got a head. They've got some pipes. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Didn't mean to do that. Bing! Great work. Thanks. I appreciate you appreciating my fantastic lockpicking skills. I'm tempted to shoot her in the bum. Oh, hello, a magazine. What's this do? Right, Marked Magazine. Why is it marked? This copy of Dissident Hunter, the hero braves the dangerous hellhole that is Monarch. Oh, in this copy, sorry, not this copy. Uh, numerous edits are scratched into the text and a number of villainous dissidents uh, have had moustaches and hats drawn on them. <gasps> Blasphemous. How very dare they. Use terminal. This is hookless terminal. Stay out, that means you. Right, dear diary. Right, if you want to read this, then you'll have to pause because I am not going to read it. Return to root. And there we go, there's some more. Talking about Zora being a bitch. Zora's really smart, but you know what? Sometimes she can be such a bitch. Next. Today, Zora gave me permission to buy ammunition from Bronson. I don't think I want to, but she should. Uh, she should. Hang on. I don't want to, but she. I'm reading it wrong. I'm going to stop right now. Return. We're done three already. This is my last entry. Sorry, diary. You've been a very good listener, but our time has come to an end. This terminal was making a horrible beeping noise yesterday, and someone smashed it while I was out, and now I can't save more diaries. Milton can fix it, and plus he says that I should stop coming into his house to write them when he's not around, whoever smashed the poor terminal. If you're reading this, suck sulfur. <laughs> It feels like I should be saying hello kitty. Right, hack! Repair the terminal. Blip, 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 blip. Exit. It is now repaired. You may continue using it in your diary if I have not already killed you in cold blood. I probably have. Are you Huxley? No. Nope. I was thinking who's Huxley, but I was thinking of Aldous Huxley, who is not someone in this game, obviously. But, uh, 
Why am I walking so fucking slow? Ah, I've got too much shit. Right, I need to do something. I'll, is, I'll use this. This might help me do something. Ah, go on, use. Right, let's break down some shit. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll equip some shit first so that I have a better weapon because my... Um, let's have a look what we've got. Right, I have the Dead Eye Assault Rifle. It's a 198. What's that? Grenade launcher. Flamethrower. Dead Eye Assault Rifle, still a 198. So... Flamethrower. The Vermin's a 187. Ooh, Light Pistol Mark II. 320. What's mine? 198? Motherfucker. I'm getting rid of that. I'm having this little pistol instead. I prefer the little pistols. Well, a stun baton for 278 shock damage. Right, what does this do? Not as much. It looks good, but it's that it's had its day. Right, we'll have that so far. What's this back scratcher? The claw. I don't know why I bother equipping melee weapons. I never bloody use them, do I? What's this axe? 40. Toss ball. That does a lot of damage, doesn't it? The toss ball thing. But it's a toss ball thing, and toss ball is so annoying. Right, light assault rifle, 576. <gasps> Look at that. Light machine gun, loads. Right, these are two 960s, so I might pop those on my companions. What's my gun? A 320 on that. Let's get rid of the ultimate force. I can't unequip it. I want to unequip this. Oh, it's because I'm using it, aren't I? Right, uh... Oh, this is fucking annoying. Right, there we go. I'll swap it for this. And now I'll go back in. And I'll unequip that. And I'll equip that thing that was down here. I can't remember what it was. Was it this? Light assault rifle? Yeah, I think so. Right then, chaps and chapesses. Neoka, what do you want? You've currently got a light machine gun and a, a, a tremor cleaver. That's not what it looked like. It had got like a proper buzzsaw on the end. Not just a, a, an edge. How much was your weapon again? 693. So you are going to have this, and uh, Max is going to have the other one. And which is your thing? 105. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you this stun baton. Let's have a look at Max. Max, you are going to have the other one the same as hers. There you go, dudes. Say thank you. Okay, you don't have to. And what do you want as your melee weapon? Because you've got something a bit shit at the moment. You can have one of these, like her... So that was a 105, your, your, your hammer was a 142. Do you want this shitty toss ball thing? No, you can't have it. By virtue of it being ridiculous. Bloody hell, look at these! 233, you have one of them. They've suddenly got a bit more powerful as we've progressed through the game, haven't they? What's its special do for? Bleed. Bleed is good as well, bleed's very good because they continue to die after you've walloped them. Right then, so what armour do you want? At the moment, you have a 26 and a 3. So, I'm going to give you... What's this? Oh no, it's horrible. A full cranium helmet. That, that's probably a 38. Jesus. Pop that on then. Quite suits you. Let's have a look at this face mask. Oh, that's quite good. Although, if, if I was going to try and protect myself... Um, right, I'll give you that one so that I don't accidentally, you know, break it down because it's got a higher value. Right, let's give you whatever the best armour is then. So 38, 4, 26. It's going to be the 38 then, isn't it? Right, here you go. Oh, my word. Look how badass you are now. Right, let's have a look at your armour. You are wearing something shit. But quite, it's quite spiffing. I quite like it. I might steal it off you. I can't take it off you, can I? No, I can't. So, what do you want? Do you want this? Max has been wearing it. It's probably still warm. Let's have a look at this on you. That looks good when it's folded up. But it don't look very good when they put it on. It looks like it's going to be really good. That's why I keep bloody checking it. Right, you've got that. I hope it's not... Uh, too disgusting from Max. And you're going to have this little Tin Man hat as well. Now I am going to put myself some armour on, I think. Oh, it's, I do it in here, don't I? Right, I've done my weapons. Let's have a look at my armour. My goggles are giving me a plus 15 to engineering. That's pretty fucking badass. Right, let's see what this looks like on me compared to what I'm wearing. 
Oh my word, I am very spiffing. Yeah, I'm definitely going with this. I like the, the blade as well on the side, that knife, the little hunting knife. That looks awesome. It goes very well with my elegant moustache. I like this very much indeed. I don't like that, I look like a fucking bum. Right, so, see you later, Neo. We are going with this elegant, that's not it, this. This, we're going all full on Downton Abbey on your ass and we're gonna bop you with our electric stick. Right, beautiful. What's this helmet like? Right, I'm, I'm sticking with my goggles. Right, now that I've done that, I'll uh, break down some shit. Right, so, break down. Let's just keep thumping the button. Pew, 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 pew. Why won't this break down? Why, why, uh, why does it sometimes go weird? Right, that's all that done. Let's break down. Oh, I like the vicar's outfit. I might put it back on later. Fuck it, I'm breaking it. Done. Right, now we should be able to walk. I like my stick. <laughs> uh, right, what time are we on? Bloody hell, an hour and ten minutes? How did that happen? Right, uh, I'll go and do the next bit later. Um, let's see if I can teleport to it. Um... Right, so it's in there. Right then, I'll teleport here while I say goodbye. There we go guys, there we have two playthroughs uh, in one day. I might do another one later if I get enough time. The time now, it's just gone one o'clock, but I've got shit to do. I've got to go out and I've also got to do some work on my business as well uh, before Filippo gets home because I, I cannot have the distractions while I'm doing those videos. So uh, I'll pick up from wherever I land on this teleportation in my next video. And if I see any more iconoclasts, I'll be kicking their ass. So uh, yeah, that's certainly a faction that I'm not aligning myself with. What's going on in here? Why does everyone look a bit suspicious? Are you all right? You all right, Angus? You look very cold. Do you want to hug my stick? Here you go. I'll just touch you gently. Here you go. You want some of this? Just pop it up your nose. It'll make you nice and warm. It's funny how it looks really, really tiny when I hold it next to her. And yet when I stand here, it looks fucking massive. That's a bit weird. Right, so we'll be picking up from exactly here when we, uh, when we, when we see you again. You take care. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye.